I'm sorry. I just, uh, I was reminded of something that my niece told me, and it's so moving. <laughs> she said to me, because we've had so much loss in my family, Uncle Frank, I had a dream, and there was all this white light, and my mother was there, and she came over to me, and she kissed me, and she said, I love you. And I said, oh, Alex, I had a dream too, only there was no white light, it was red. <laughs> and my father was there, and he came over to me, he called me a little faggot. <laughs> he took a big bite out of my neck. And I said, oh, if I knew you were hungry, I would have made something. <laughs> Ugh, I'm so I'm worried about like who's going to be left when I'm in intensive care at the end. My options are like my nephew, who's dead inside. Like, we'll all be around the Thanksgiving table. Like, oh, remember when mom dropped that lemon meringue pie and she laughed about it? She was so wonderful. I loved her stuffing. There's totally fucking no service in here. I can't get my notifications on Facebook. Dead inside. <laughs> 20-something. And I'm so afraid, like, it's going to be that or Jamaican nanny on the Upper West Side who's texting while she's dragging the kid by his wrist. <laughs> Next you look, she's texting, dragging him by his hair. Next you look, she's texting and holding a pigeon. It's either the Jamaican nanny or my nephew, Michael. And I'll be on my deathbed like, Michael, I can't breathe. I'll totally cut your breathing tube. If you die, it'll go viral on Instagram. Hashtag killing it. So I took him to buy a jacket at the mall because I want to get in good. And um, it was so cute. There was... Um, a lady with a t-shirt on that said, normal people scare me. <laughs> I thought that was so sweet. I walked over to her and I said, I really like that shirt. <laughs> she ran away. She was a fucking liar. carrying my best friend's coffin and um, I thought man I really need to work on my triceps <laughs> see I had like the upper northwest corner of the funerary box and I just I cannot do math and it really is it's geometry I was like do I am I overhanded or am I underhanded when I was walking and then I started to bend over and it was just, it was a blind panic. And when we tried to lift the sarcophagus up, I thought, wow, I really need to work on my core. <laughs> Stop that. Clap at my pain.